Or alongside Teddy Atlas, good evening and welcome to Chicago and the famed Aragon Ballroom for a much anticipated main event. Boy, and we expect this to be a big night of action. We spoke with both fighters yesterday. Fireworks anticipated here tonight. Let's see. And only 19 defeats. Coming out of Harlem, Joker Ray Robinson. And he's a opponent across the ring with a record of 51 victories, 32 by way of knockout, and five losses. Hailing out of Philadelphia, the executioner, Hawkins. All right, gentlemen. Protect yourselves at all times. Let's touch them up. Everybody's been waiting for these two to meet up. Now they do as round one is underway. When you go up against the guy who the expectation is that he's going to be there right to the bitter end, mentally, what do you have to tell yourself as you come to those final few rounds? You're prepared for this. That this is exactly what it was leading to. That you didn't expect anything different. That it was just a dress rehearsal, the early part. This is where you're going on stage. Robinson's right hand scores well. Bernard Hopkins going old school there. B-hop with your basic one-two. Able to dismiss that body shot. Robinson's doing what every trainer wants to see their fighter do. Land punches and bunches. The combination lands. Sugar Ray Robinson with a big right. A little give and take, and here comes the left hand. Able to cover up along the belt line, blocks that one. Hopkins is left now getting into the mix. Not hitting his mark there going upstairs. And now they're opening up, both right hands land. Robinson's got to deal with a cut cheek. Final 10 seconds of round number one. Nice block that time. It was intended to the head. Sugar Ray Robinson's going with a quality that I think is very underrated in boxing. And that is to be judicious, to really think about when, how, and make the most of each thing you're doing. His punch rate, very, very effective in terms of his percentage landed. Yeah, he's throwing educated punches. You know, he's not wasting anything. He's making everything count for just as importantly, everything's leading to something else. You know, he's working a body one moment, and that's leading up to some head attack later on. So he's planning everything out like a smart fighter, a guy that understands the sweet science. He got hit right there, but he also gave one. Solid effort by Sugar Ray Robinson. I shake it off. Sugar Ray Robinson became the first boxer in history to win a world championship in the same division five different times. He did that when he beat Carmen Basilio in 1958 to get that middleweight title back. And you have to remember, back in those days, these were full titles. You know, you didn't have the junior welterweight, you didn't have the junior middleweight and super middleweight. Otherwise, he would have won maybe 100 different weight classes. And of course, I'm exaggerating, but he did it when there were the pure defined weight classes. He did it during a time when the greatest fighters maybe in the history of the sport were competing against each other. And he and 
Gage is in the clinch. Sugar Ray Robinson's combination punching is working well here. Takes one, but gives one. Good work by Sugar Ray Robinson. Frustrating his opponent with great defense. Took a shot, now he gives a left. Okay, listen, you can throw him off with some head movement, that's it. Throw him off with head movement. And round number three is underway. Robinson's defense is paying off now. Teddy, he did a smart thing right there. Just created enough space and then landed the counter punch. Looked like the will of the wisps, the old great Willie Pep. Made him miss, made him pay. Robinson's speed to me, Teddy, is clearly the biggest difference we've seen so far tonight. Yeah, but there's ways to take away speed. One is to go downstairs to the body and start to discourage the guy a little bit. You know, take some of the air out of those sails. You could see what he wanted to do there, but unable to land that body shot. He returns the favor with a right hand of his own. Reaching the halfway mark of this round. Double up on your punches. Robinson's doing well here with that two-punch combination. Relax, relax. Oh, and he returns fire with a left hand. Good clean shot, returning fire. Well done by Sugar Ray Robinson. And you see what he can do when he sends that right to the head. And now another left. Ten seconds to go in this third round. That's it! And that's the end of round three. Sure play. Don't get lazy out there, all right? Don't get lazy. The wind is Beginning of round number four. Teddy, the way your scorecard reads, he's up three rounds to zip. Good, accurate punching, earning him that lead. Yeah, very conservative. Hasn't wasted anything but as you just touched on, has made everything count. Robinson's in a good rhythm defensively here. Teddy, what is that, a credit to his ability to anticipate? You know, also, it's the teacher. Nice. Let's give the trainers credit. Of course, let's give his background of the amateurs credit, but he learned how to get away from punches. This is technique that was taught to him. How about that, another right hand. Able to counter that attack. Robinson's movement's really helping him out, avoiding that punch. And coming upon the halfway mark of this three-minute round. Scored well with that right hand to the body. Targeting that one-two. You got this one! Right on the mark with the hook up top. Robinson's doing really well on the outside. Well, I don't know if he's hip to the idea of becoming a counter puncher, but I get the sense you'd agree with it. Yeah, definitely. I mean, he's got the perfect platform, the perfect form for it. The guy's walking in right now, not moving his head much. He can time him, he can counter him. 
And that's the end of round four. Well, we've seen this before. A fighter with a bad cut, and sometimes a fighter that now has a much greater sense of urgency. Yeah, right now, if he was gambling, if he was in a casino, he's rolling the dice. He's hoping to come up with seven. And now we got a fight. He fires back a right hand of his own. You see him holding on. One, two, Trying to go downstairs, but off target. Return to sender. He gives him back one of his own. Robinson's so dangerous with that accuracy, a two-punch combination landing. Nice work, nice work. Good job by Sugar Ray Robinson landing that big right. Right hand over the top, very accurate with it. Still plenty of time to work here in round number five. Minute and a half to go. Robinson's really impressing us here. Defensively impressing us. I mean, it's so easy to say, wow, look at the punching, look at the power. But, Teddy, you got to appreciate what he's doing with defense. Yeah, well, that's one of the reasons why you can say that you appreciate, you know, the aggression or the power and all these things. He can afford to be aggressive because he doesn't get hit. Bernard Hopkins is showing you a little defensive skill there. Able to move away from that punch. There you go. Oh, and he's got something for him himself, and it's a left hand. Stay away from those. Spots. Nice strike after catching one by Sugar Ray Robinson. Ten seconds to go in this round. And round five comes to an end. Bernard Hopkins' corner has quite a task in front of them now. Their fighter's eye swollen shut. Right now, you have to come up with some strategy. Maybe he turns his stance around, where he leads now with the good eye. You know, right now, the good eye is back a little bit where he can't pick up things. Maybe now he needs to change his position in the ring, where at least his good eye is in front. Robinson's right hand working well then. Oh, and he got caught right there. Everything was going fine, and then he got caught. Well, that's the problem. It was going too fine. He got a full sense of security. The other guy wasn't throwing back. He took for granted, and bang, you can't take for granted in this ring. Bernard Hopkins with some rare defensive flaws. His defense not tight, his hands not up, his movement not as good as we've seen it in the past. We've seen multiple shots come in on b -Hop. They both decide to bring it. That's great stuff. He fires one right back after taking one. Gotta love the work by Sugar Ray Robinson. Work the body. His body shot. Reaching the halfway point of round number six. Tried to land that upstairs and was off the mark. Hey, 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 let's go! I like that step back right there. Just enough to be out of danger, but still close enough to then land the counter punch. Well, that's what happens when you have that kind of experience. You're calm enough to know that range. Know where the beginning of the punch and the end of the punch is. Robinson's fighting real smart here on the outside. Robinson's defense did a good job there, able to avoid that punch. Working our way towards the bell, last 10 seconds of the sixth. Hopkins has got a little something coming back at him, a counter punch score. Well, you can just mark down another round for him there with this accurate, precise punching. How does his opponent escape from that? You got to use feints. You know, feints is really the Achilles heel to timing. I mean, you. You feint him and you throw his timing off. You let him think something's coming, and guess what? It's not coming. 
He gives as well as he takes. You saw it on that exchange. Bernard Hopkins, his knowledge of the game is showing through. Three ways to defend. One of them is to block. He did it there well. Robinson's found a way to dominate these middle rounds here. His game plan is working out beautifully. You think he can end this fight here? Yeah, if he starts putting them together a little bit, but I don't know if that's his temperament to get serious because he's a guy that he's not serious. I mean, he's got so much talent, you know, it's almost like he's fooling around in there. You know, it's too easy for him. He got a little serious. It's over. Relax, relax. Oh, that's good doing? stuff. Fire it right back with one of his own. Good work by Sugar Ray Robinson. Robinson's landing a combination here. That's what he does when he's at his very best. He comes with the straight right hand. Robinson's left working well that time. Back to the box. You're not focusing. Oh, he just misses with that headshot. Good job. And you can see he You're wanted to do that as he holds on there. Come on. Come on. Oh, he took some damage, but he gave some back with the right hand. Bernard Hopkins has taken a lot of punishment with the right hand. Teddy, you've said many times, it's where you put your own head when you get hit by those right hands. Well, one place I could tell you where not to put it, in the middle. And he needs to move it to the left, outside that right hand. It's hurt. It's hurt. We need you to jump on him this round, right? I wonder if there's an answer to change this, Teddy. Here we are in round number eight, and it has become a one-sided fight as he has strung round after round together. You know, that's the right question, Joe, but you got to ask it to the right guy, not to the guy who's winning. He's going to keep doing it. Why would he change it? The opponent needs to be asked that question. Do you want to change this? What a great job. He gave one right back in return. Nice work by Sugar Ray Robinson. Keep moving, keep moving. Let's see some more head movement. Comes right back at him with a left hand. The halfway point of round number eight. Takes one to give one. He comes back with a right hand. Good work with the combinations there. Bernard Hopkins is now really on target. Robinson's putting forth that hard work he did in training camp there, landing a crisp combination. Sizzling hand speed we saw moments ago. Heck of a combination, but uh, pretty easy to get it off when you're that fast. Yeah, it is. And what it causes, too, is besides us saying, ooh, that we see those quick hands and the judges, you know, marking it down. Also, it makes the opponent keep his hands in his pocket. He's afraid to move his hands because the other guy's so much faster. He got hit right there, but he also gave one. Solid effort by Sugar Ray Robinson. So punch after punch, he keeps taking nice, punishment. Nice. Starting to wonder here, Teddy, how much more will he be able to take? You want it to be the inclination of a fighter, in this case a warrior, to go on. But sometimes enough is enough, and you just have to take your losses and come back to fight another day. I believe we've gotten to that point. That is a big right hand after eating one himself. Took a shot, now he gets the left. Oh, he is stuck. 
He could go down. Solid. He was standing up to it, but now he goes down for the first time. One, two, three, four, five. Bernard Hopkins likes to control things. Right now, this fight may be out of his control as he rises up to beat the count. Robinson's jab lands well. Boy, some of the old school guys would really appreciate this, wouldn't they, Teddy? Just great upper body movement, so elusive up top. Yeah, this is an example like they used to say in old days. He stands right in front of you, and you can't hit him in the backside with a handful of bulk shots. He gets off with a combination up top. Takes one, but gives one. Good work by Sugar Ray Robinson. And now he brings the left hand upstairs. He tried to nab him up top, but was unable to connect. Hopkins is scoring with that right hand. And that's the end of round nine. Teddy, let's discuss what's going on right here. His eye is completely swollen shut. What is the concern with the referee in the ringside position? Well, right now they're worried about the welfare. You know, not just about tonight, but the future of this fight and what damage he will take now because he can't see correctly. It's their job to protect the fighter. This is it. This is all we no turning back now. Tenth round is upon us. Last round of the fight. He's working the box. He gets hit, but he gives it right back. Wow, what an uppercut. Robinson's movement helped out there. He avoided that punch. Hopkins is whiffing there. A big, wide, sweeping shot. I'm a perfect to counter against. Yes, it is, and you know it's only a matter of time. You know, that goes into the old computer, the old brain, where the guy remembers that, and the next time he's going to capitalize on it. Back and forth exchange. Nice, sharp, fundamentally sound hook right there, and it served him well. Side to side. And now he's targeting upstairs. Don't let him get to you, kid. Move your head. Robin, oh, he's stopping the fight. This fight is over. You saw the damage he was taking. The ref steps in and does the right thing. Fight is over.